Hi students, welcome to my channel Excellent Ideas in Education. Today we are going to solve this case study problem. This is surface areas and volume problem. Mathematics teacher of a school took her ninth standard students to show Red Fort. It was a part of the educational trip. The teacher had an interest in history as well. She narrated the facts of Red Fort to students. Then the teacher said in this monument one can find a combination of solid figures. There are two pillars which are cylindrical in shape. You see here, two pillars which are cylindrical in shape. Also, two domes at the corners which are hemispherical. You see, two domes at the corner which are hemispherical. Seven smaller domes at the center. You see here, seven smaller domes at the center. Flower hoisting ceremony on Independence Day takes place near these domes. You see here, flag hoisting is in these domes. How much cloth material will be required to cover two big domes each of radius 2.5 meter? You see these two big domes only. You see this shape. What is the shape of this dome? Hemisphere. So we will take the curved surface area of hemisphere. First we will take CSA of hemisphere formula. CSA of hemisphere is equal to 2 pi r square into 2 big domes. We will take 2. Equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 2.5 into 2.5 into 2. This one how we will write? 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 22 by 7 into 2.5 we will write it as 25 by 10 into 25 by 10. 2 2 sa 4, 5 2 sa 10. 2 2 sa 4, 5 2 sa 10. 1 5 sa 5, 5 5 sa 25. 1 5 sa 5, 5 5 sa 25. Next 22 into 5 5 sa 25 divided by 7 is equal to 22 into 25 is 550 divided by 7 equal to 78.57 meter square b is the answer next write the formula to find the volume of cylindrical pillar so we will take volume of cylinder formula volume of cylinder is pi r square h next find the lateral surface area of two pillars if height of the pillar is 7 meter and radius of the base is 1.4 meter Pillar. Pillar means we will take it as cylinder formula. Lateral surface area means curved surface area. What is curved surface area of cylinder formula? 2 pi r h into 2 pillars. So we will take 2 equal to 2 into 22 by 7 into 7 into base means height 1.4 into 2. 7, 7 cancel. 2, 2 are 4, 4 into 22 into 1.4 equal to 4 into 22 is 88 into 1.4. What comes 88 into 1.4? 8, 4 are 32, 3, 8, 4 are 32, 35, 8, 8, 2, 13, 1, 9, 10, 12. So 1. 23.2 this one we will take it as 123.2 meter square so b is the answer next how much is the volume of a hemisphere if the radius of the base is 3.5 meter what is the volume of hemisphere formula 2 by 3 pi r cube 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into R is 3.5 the whole cube equal to 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 3.5 into 3.5 into 3.5. How we will write this one? 2 by 3 into 22 by 7 into 7 by 2 into 7 by 2 into 7 by 2. This 7, 7 cancel, this 2, this 2 cancel. So 22 into 7, 7 so 49 divided by 3, 2 so 6, 
Six twos are twelve. So here is eleven twos are twenty two. Six twos are twelve. So forty nine into eleven. So forty nine into eleven is forty nine. Here is forty nine nine thirty three five thirty nine. Equal to five thirty nine divided by six is equal to six eight so forty eight balance five nine six or fifty four balance five balance five put zero point eight six or forty eight two twenty six three is or eighteen so eighty nine point eight three meter cube. So eighty nine point eight three. So D is the answer. Next, what is the ratio of sum of volume of two hemisphere of radius one centimeter each to the volume of a sphere of radius two centimeter? Now we need to find the ratio sum of volume of two hemisphere. Divided by volume of sphere equal to volume of hemisphere formula is two by three pi r cube into two hemisphere two divided by volume of sphere volume of sphere formula is four by three pi r cube. Equal to two by three into pi into r value is given as one centimeter. So one cube into two divided by four by three into pi into this r value is two centimeter. So two cube equal to pi pi cancel this three this three cancel two into two is four divided by Four into two twos are four, four twos are eight. Equal to this four, this four cancel one by eight. So one is two, eight is the answer. Thanks for watching this video.